Hello everyone, welcome to your next tutorial on Cake PHP 3.4. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to make a custom side menu or custom view element that we can use, reuse in other views. For instance, you've noticed that in all our pages, the side menu repeats itself just with minor changes. For instance, if we click on login and uh, you will see that it basically stays the same except that this link has changed. And uh, after we log in, we see that most of the links are very similar too. So what we're going to do is try and create a custom page, uh, a custom side menu or view element here so that we can reuse it and then make it to be intelligent so that it can pick which page we are on and uh, which page we are going to uh, want to display. So CakePHP makes that very easy and the way we're going to achieve that is first of all making sure that we have a sign up link here. As you can see, we only have login. I would want to create a sign up link here. So I will go to the folder, our uh, folder, kickoff folder, SRC, go to templates, and the thing we'll click on is on layouts because we're looking for this guy here and we look for default.ctp. And in the folder tutorial, I'll show you how to create more layouts. And what we're looking for is the login, and we scroll till we find the login right here so we're going to create one more link that says sign up and the sign up link basically points to user sign up in case you're not seeing what i'm doing i can extend this so that you can see it properly all right we've created that so we refresh just to make sure that we're in the right place and we did the right thing and we have sign up cool so if we go to our sign up page we realize that it looks th the same so we're going to create an element that just handles our side menu for us so we go to our src templates then we'll hit on elements here we can create custom elements so i'll create a new text file and rename it to um, side menu side menu .ctp. You know kicks engine.ctp that's kick templates all right so we hit enter in laravel this would be dot blade all right and um, we open it and it's empty so what we're going to do is to copy one sample um just going to close all of this so we'll copy a sample side menu so that we can use it and uh, we go back to our code for a sample side menu, we're going to go to users. We're going to go to sign up. Since we're already on the sign up page, we open sign up. And we copy. This is the side menu, remember, for the sign up page. So we copy it out and take it to our element. So I'll cut it, save, go to our element and paste. Save. So here is where the cake, cake PHP does the magic. So right here, we can output the contents of this element by just doing php echo this element and uh, what's the name of the element the name of the element is whatever we named this file we named it side menu and that becomes the name of the element so uh, first of all i'll hide this to show you that what we did worked so i'll hide it i've saved it then if i refresh this guy should disappear and this will pull to the action because there's nothing pulling it so this is what our sign up page is without the side menu so if we get back and control v paste this i've saved it if we refresh again and there it is so this is how to uh, make a side menu a smart side menu which means we can simply go to this sign in view we'll go to sign in our login and of course we copy this guy out too and then we paste our element because it's the same sign menu and if we come here and refresh and this is the sign up so if we click on sign in as you can see it stays the same 
So we're now using one single element for these two views. In the next video, we will add more items here and make it smarter. All right. Thank you. See you in the next video.